So, uh, I bet you're thinking, well, what about that aeroplane? What does it actually look like in the flesh? Well, here it is, a RV-10. This one here was built by the factory. It's one of their um, demonstrator aircraft. Um, but uh, this is an RV-10. This gives you a sense of the scale of the project now. Sure, I've shown pictures. Sure, I've shown everything else. But um, I'm six foot two. And uh, this is our aeroplane. Um, well, not ours. This is what our airplane will be. If this was ours, uh, my job's already done. Um, but this is the aircraft. This is an RV-10. And uh, the sense of scale might get lost through just images and stuff like that. So uh, what I'm going to do uh, with this little video here is just give you a quick overview uh, of the aircraft. Um, and then we'll come back and do some real detail video of it over the individual components and stuff like that. Right now, we'll just break it down into, uh, into some small chunks. Uh, I'm just going to make sure that you can uh, see, me, see me here. Um, yep, we certainly can. So uh, the first two components we've got, the first two components we've got are the tail and the wings, right? So wh what is the tail and where does it begin? Well, the tail, the tail kit, which is the first thing we're going to build, starts here, right here. This is where the, um, uh, the, the rib line is, is here. Forward of that is all the fuselage kit, the fuselage engine avionics. After this point right here, just after the baggage, is this is what we're building first. All, all of this, all, all of this. You get a sense of scale again. This, uh, this is the horizontal stab when the aircraft's sitting there. It's, it's chest height on me. It's five foot off the ground. Um, this is not a small project. Uh, <laughs> this is not a small project. Um, it, vertical stabilizer, you can see towers above me. It's, uh, uh, you know, it's a good two, two and a half feet above me, right? It's, um, this is a big aeroplane. Uh, it's a big aeroplane and uh, I, I think the... I think the sense of scale can sometimes uh, maybe perhaps be lost at the size of the thing. Um, like I can go ahead and give, give the tail a big old hug here, but um, it's, uh, sorry about the mic as well there, but uh, it's a big plane. It's, it's a big aircraft. So that's the, that's the tail. So again, the tail, the tail that we're building first starts right here, and we're building all of this first. And uh, I'm planning it should take maybe about I mean, maybe about two months. Uh, what I'm hoping for is to have this tail completed. That's going to include, um, you know, the trim tab, uh, all of the flight controls, uh, all of that other stuff uh, is all included in that time. Um, it's, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, yep. It's a big project. The other one, the other component that we're picking up uh, tomorrow is, uh, is the wings. And, uh, well, we all know what wings are like. Um, again, I'll jump up on the aircraft here. There's a, a good bit of wing walk. Um, the wings are big. Uh, they're probably, I don't know, uh, they're maybe 10 foot across. So we're talking about a, about a 20 something foot wingspan. I don't know 100%. Um, I probably should know, but uh, th this, uh, <laughs> This is the aeroplane. This is what we want to build. Um, this is what we are going to build. It's, uh, yeah. The, the, the thing to note about this plane, I'll jump in the back here and show you in a second, is uh, the reason why I like this aircraft over a lot of other four-seaters is, you can see my size, right? I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not a small dude, but um, I'll comfortably be able to sit in the back seat. I'll easily be able to fit in the back seat. I'll go ahead and show you that here. So I'm um, putting real people in this aeroplane is not a problem, um, not a problem at all. Uh, you could take three real adults, almost full fuel, uh, easily full fuel, easily full fuel with three adults. Um, if you went two adults and two um, smaller people in the back end, uh, weight-wise, size-wise, whatever, kids in the back, um, there's never any issues with CG or anything. It's uh, this is an incredibly well-built and designed aircraft for hauling four people and four real people. You know, when you talk about, say, something like a Cessna 172, in theory, there's four seats, but in all practical senses, there's two, maybe three. 
Sure, you can fit three people in, the, in say, a 172, but your range would drop to, say, maybe 250, 300 nautical miles, uh, about three hours worth of fuel, plus reserves. Um, an aircraft like this, uh, you can fit uh, four real people, four 200 plus pound people in here, so a total load here of about uh, you know, eight to 900 pounds. Uh, and still be able to carry probably about 65% fuel, uh, which would give you a, um, a range of, well, probably about three hours worth of fuel plus reserves. Um, and this thing's doing 165 knots, or 172 isn't. So you are still going to get nearly 500 nautical miles with four real adults. Um, you can't do that. You, you're looking at six seat aircraft for that. In fact, uh, this thing has a better load carrying capability than a Cirrus. It has a more, it has a larger usable load than a Cirrus aircraft, um, the SR-22s, um, and a lot more than the SR-20s. Uh, it's, uh, it really is a specially well-designed aircraft, it really is, but um, I'll show you what I mean. I'll bring the camera over here so you can see um, how much room there actually is in the aircraft and uh, when I do another video, we'll, we'll do another video where I'll go over the avionics, we'll uh, try and get some um, power brought out to the aircraft, because uh, this thing here is fitted with Garmin G3Xs, and uh, I, I, would like, I would like to think we will, that Garmin G3Xs would be in our aircraft, or at least Dynons, um, but the, uh, the equipment is uh, very, very good in this machine. But uh, let me go ahead here and... Uh, prop the camera in so you can see how graceful like a ballerina I am and uh, I'll go uh, I'll go jump in that back seat there just be prepared for my graceful graceful entry and exit um, uh, you'll see yeah you'll, you'll see you'll see you'll see um, let me just go ahead and make sure this seat is moved forward here I can't remember where the pin is for this um, are you the pin? No. Oh, yep, it's up front. There we go. So there's the pin. Now, I think... <laughs> Anyone think I know what I'm doing, right? I only got to build the fucking thing. I don't even know how to move the seats. Um, so the, the seat moves forward. You can see there's huge amounts of room here to let people in. Um, so, like, quite simply, uh, I can get up on the wing walk here. We've got a fancy pants roof. And, uh... I can go jump in the aeroplane. I might even, I might even squeeze all the way over here. We'll move this seat forward into a piloting position. And, uh, I'll drop in the back here. And fuck me, I'm swimming in an aeroplane. This is amazing. So uh, I've got leg room. There's more room in this than, say, like a Toyota in the back seat. Um, there's no... I can have a headset on. There's clearance all around me. And... Uh, what an aeroplane. I've got a little, a little vent here if I want some outside air. It's, it's fantastic. Um, it really is. Uh, some little, what's some ajiggets there to put your headset in. Um, and even if I wanted to bring the seat all the way back, sure, if I bring the seat all the way back against it stops, there's, uh, my knees are up against it. You'd need someone that's seven foot tall in the right hand seat here to have that happen though. Um, for a regular position, there's more than enough room. And shoulder room as well, like... Put two people in the back of a 172, I, you wouldn't even get off the ground. But uh, shoulder room here, I'm not shoulder to shoulder. Uh, like, there's my arm outstretched. Like... It's an amazing aircraft. It really is. For... There's a lot of dollars involved in making this plane. There's no doubt about it, there's a lot of dollars involved. We can't get around that. But what this thing offers for those dollars is amazing. The, the bang for buck out of this plane, and I've talked a lot about that in stream, right? When purchasing aircraft, or flight sim products or anything, um, is uh, what is the dollar, what is the bang for buck that I get out of the machine? Um, and it's uh, like my microphone's on the way out. And this is one of the best you can get. Um, there is an expense, everything costs something, but uh, um, 
there's so much room here. I don't feel like I'm in a light aeroplane. Um, I've got a beautiful view, a Valdude view right here of the wing. I'm just after the trailing edge of the, uh, well, I'm actually right on the trailing edge of the wing. Um, I've got a good view forward. I've got a good view aft. Um, I can see out the front. I can't quite see the engine cowl from here because I'm a little bit lower. Um, but uh, I, I, I can't quite see the engine cab, but I can see very far forward. Um, so even being back here as a big person is uh, very comfortable, very, very, very comfortable and very usable. It's, um, you'd not, I would not be scared of putting two people back here, not at all, as long as there was enough weight forward. But this aircraft actually starts on a forward CG that you actually need to, if you're flying this aircraft solo and you weigh about 180 pounds, you need to put weight in the baggage compartment. Um, it's too far forward on the CG limit. So this aircraft starts on a forward CG limit and moves aft. So having more weight back here is in some cases good. All of the fuel is slightly forward of the CG um, or negligible change on the CG. Um, it's uh, <sighs> it's a really cool plane. It is a really, really, really cool machine. Um, I, I don't have enough good things to say about it. The view here is so cool. I'll bring the camera in so you can get a sense of the, the view that I've got. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, yeah, so you can have a look around and see what, see what I can see. Um, but I'll be graceful like an ox getting out again. And uh, I mean, like I'm tall and I can still get in and out easily. It's, uh, it really is cool. I, I don't know of any aircraft that has a 172, sure you can fit in the back, but uh, you're not going to have much fun doing it. Let's go, I'll jump right into the back seat here again and uh, be somewhat graceful again while I... Oh, fuck! Yeah, let's just go... Shit! I just uh, knocked her. Uh, it is actually really handy. The, um, the uh, seat belts actually um, are mounted with a, a five point harness for the front seats. Uh, they're, they're mounted back here, but um, they got little hooks there. So, yeah, this is the view. Uh, let's, that's a seat. I'll bring it back so you're sort of in the eye line here, but uh, like this is the view out of the wing. Come on, camera. I just took a photo. This is the view out of the back here. Like, you can see the tail. There's the wings. This is the view sort of forward here. That's an RV-12 ahead there. Um, you can kind of see uh, beside the seat here and easily see the avionics. If I move these slightly out of the way. You see here, this is my eye line and I can't quite see the engine cowl, but uh, again, there's the rest of the vans. Vans hanging here. Uh, the, the view back here is just gorgeous. Um, it really is. And uh, even if I go ahead and uh, take up an optimum seating position here with these seats ahead of me, it's um, it's not claustrophobic at all. Uh, not claustrophobic at all. It's it's great. There's a sneak peek of the uh, of the instruments as well. There's two G3Xs with the um, uh, GTN 750 in the middle there. Uh, Garmin autopilot controls, Vernier um, throttle controls. Uh, a standby Garmin, um, artificial horizon, standby Garmin instrument there, whole bunch of switches, uh, circuit breakers over on the right hand side, um, a very well and simply laid out uh, instrument panel there, but uh, oh man, I'm excited. It's, um, what a machine, this is experimental, what a machine. Oh, baggage bay here behind me as well. Yeah, actually, they've got uh, they got some lead shot in the back. <laughs> so uh, I'm not talking shit when they um, so even uh, even vans here when they're operating the aircraft. You gonna focus? I guess you're not. Whatever. There's a, there's a bunch of lead shot in the back there. Um, <laughs> it's so cool, guys. But they're our wings. These are the wings that we're going to be uh, building. Oh yeah, here's the uh, here's the uh, the seat controls. It's just a little a little Watson jig it there. To oh, sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed. It was a little bit difficult. Here are the wings. Well, they're my feet. 
flaps are down. And they're the wings. But we'll go over all of this in another video. I just wanted to give you guys a, a little bit of a sneak peek here. No step. Oh, I kind of just uh, foot got caught. Um, yeah. <sighs> Starting to get a little bit real, hey? Starting to get a little bit of real. You can uh, see the, the blend line here for where the tail and the fuselage start. So, um, <sighs> clamshell doors. Oh. oh, man. That's really fucking cool. Oh, let me move. Let me move my uh, camera stand out of the way. A budget Amazon camera stand, and it's been working fine for. For my purposes. There she is. Two-bladed prop on the front end. Nice. Oh, I've got to show it with both goal wing doors open, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, come on, camera, please. It's just gorgeous. Well, there we go, guys. That's a little look at it. We'll go into a bit more detail about the components and stuff, but uh, that gives you a look at the machine and uh, what it's all about, why the RV-10, and, uh, yeah, I'm so excited to build this. I really am. Really, really, really excited. I hope you are too. Alright, I'll leave you with that. I've got to get out of here. They're trying to kick me out. They all leave here at 5 o'clock, so uh, I've got to cruise. I'll leave you guys to it. Enjoy yourselves and uh, stand by for more videos.